Good morning. We just finished three days of Criterium here in Tulsa Tough. Don't worry, I'll do a race recap for every race. Today we're flying at 4 p.m. But now we're heading to our vaccination. Um, it's kind of cool, Uber has some free ride if you're going to get vaccinated. I have my appointment at 11 for my second Pfizer dose. So after that, we'll try to find a barber because my girlfriend is not gonna be happy if I come back to Canada with those hair. Like I said, we're flying and arriving in Canada. And after that, we don't go home. We go in the hotel that the government has set up for the quarantine. So we'll do a three day quarantine in hotel. Um, I got the cheapest one and I heard some horrible story about how bad they are. So I'll keep you posted on that. We'll arrive tonight at about 11. So um, long day ahead, but uh, we'll try to keep the moral high and uh, be productive and make the most of it. We're at the CVS. We're waiting for our vaccine. Zero dollars for the Uber. That's pretty cool, actually. So we are at the barbershop. This is maybe gonna be the cheapest day ever before the $1,000 quarantine hotel, I guess. So apparently it's $1 for your first haircut. We'll see. We're done with the haircut. We're gonna go grab some lunch. Apparently there is a local market just four minutes away. It was an amazing place. It cost me one dollar. I actually tipped the air cutter. I don't know how you call it. I gave her a, a good uh, tip. I was feeling bad just to pay one dollar. If you ever come to Tulsa, go to this place. It's called Elephant in the Room Barbershop, I guess. They're amazing. I'm not sponsored by them. Just make sure that's not in your pocket. You don't want anything in your pocket. So that's what we're having for lunch. We have two cheddar, two boiled eggs, some beef jerky, pretty much only fat and protein. I had some pistachio this morning. I'm just very tired of carbs, honestly, and that's the only thing I want to eat, so uh, there's no reason. <laughs> Welcome to my prison cell for the next three days. We cannot go outside. That's my view. That's the only sun I'll get tomorrow and the day after and the day after. I'm gonna be waiting here until I got my COVID test. And apparently in Canada, you have to reserve three day in a hotel for a total of $1,000 to wait for your COVID test. So um, I guess tomorrow I'll, uh, I'm gonna show you what's uh, life in prison. For the rest, for those who wonder how you can travel to Canada, just don't do it. But if you have to do it, you have to take a COVID test. You have to reserve an hotel for at least three days. And the cheapest hotel is $1,000. It can go up to $3,000. You also need to self quarantine for the next 14 days. So we cannot go outside, cannot see anybody. And yeah, the traveling is just like so complicated. Like it took me literally one hour and a half to uh, cross the border and have everything figured out. I had to like put my passport number on like 10 different things. They asked me like 12 questions. The guy at the border asked me how I was able to make money with cycling. I guess that's a good question. <laughs> Um, yeah, it was not a, a warm welcome. It doesn't make traveling very exciting, but um, at least I still get to travel, so that's a good news. It's way better to uh, be able to travel and have to do this shit rather than having everything locked down and then being able to travel. At least I can race and do what I love. On a more positive note, we'll make the best of it. I guess we'll enjoy it. There's not too much people that can enjoy the hotel quarantine. And yeah, 
As usual, take care of yourself by choosing the most optimal choice in every moment and do the same to take care of the ones you love.